Yes, yes. Um, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible because it does involve several things and I don't want to bore you and go on and on, but I really do need to explain things so that you know where my thought process is and what I need. So please bear with me. I am looking for a washer and dryer. Um, I live on the third floor of my own apartment. To go all the way downstairs to the basement is really ridiculous. Um, and also, the machine is digital. I don't use it. Mom is the only one who does. So when she's not available, I need to be able to wash and dry my clothing. <clears throat> um, I do need to make a few things clear before I begin. The first is that I do not want to spend more than 200 and absolute maximum on these machines combined. That includes shipping and everything else. No more than $200. I would prefer 150 or less. Um, the second thing is, I don't want anything that involves having to have a plumber come here and hooking up to my pipes or using um, a special outlet like a stove outlet or something like that. I really don't have the space or the room or the desire to go through all that. So I would like something that is portable. Now, I did come across several machines for washing. Um, aside from the very obvious washboard, which is an option that I'm considering, um, I've seen several on eBay. I've also seen uh, the Columbus Washboard Company, which is still in operation. They're the only uh, washboard company in America. The website to which they direct you when you go to their store section uh, has several different sizes. And I'm not sure if, it's, if they're all from that company and they just bear different trademarks or different names or whatnot, but... Uh, they have the pale size and they have the family size. They're very, very cheap. The most expensive is about $30. So that is a definite option. Uh, there are two other manual machines that I was looking into. Uh, one of them is called the Breathing Washer and the other one is called the Wonder Wash. The Breathing Washer basically, from what I understand, and keep in mind that I am totally blind so I haven't seen these things. I have to go by what I read. But the Breathing Washer is a machine that um, you put the clothing in, you put the water in and the detergent, and you basically use a plunger type um, motion or, or object to force the water through the clothing and through a cone. Um, they say that it's a very easy design, it's made of plastic, it's very sturdy, and it can clean very large things like comforters and sleeping bags and whatnot. Um, I ha it's only about $19. The second of the manual washers that I found is called the Wonder Wash. Um, and this basically, they say, it can hold up to five pounds of laundry. Um, and it requires a, a circular motion. This one has a drain, uh, or rather, excuse me, a hose um, on the bottom of it. And um, so you can drain the water and then add more water to rinse. You can do the same thing with the breathing washer. I don't know if it has a hose, but I know you can empty it and rinse it. The Wonder Wash, um, they say, uh, works really well. There is um, a reporter on their website. It's from a separate news source, and she tries it and says that it works really nicely. But I have heard different things about that product. And one of the reviews actually mentioned the Breathing Washer and said that it was better. So I'm not really sure what to do there. Uh, it's about 40 or more dollars. So it's not exactly cheap. The, excuse me, the third option uh, for washing my clothing is the Wonder Washer. This is not to be confused with the Wonder Wash. They're two different companies and two different machines. The Wonder Washer is electric and it, basically it takes a lot longer than the other two machines, about 15 minutes. From what I hear, it really can't handle that much clothing. I don't really know. Um, exactly how much, so maybe I'm wrong. Um, it does not have any kind of a rinse cycle, and it's very expensive. It's about 60 plus dollars. I've seen it for more than that. So I, if I were to buy that one, I really want to make sure that it actually works properly, that it really does wash the clothing well, um, so that when I put it in the tub to rinse it, um, I know that it did a good job. And again, how much can it handle? I'm not sure. Can it handle as much as the other two machines? Now, we come to the rinsing part of washing, which means that I need A, a wringer, and B, a tub. 
I went on eBay to look for a ringer. And by the way, I'm only looking for the mechanical ones. I absolutely refuse to get an electric ringer because I hear that they're extremely dangerous and I have no intention of getting my arm pulled in Mangler anymore. Any Stephen King fans here? <laughs> Even though that was a cold press, that wasn't a, an actual ringer for wet clothing. But anyway, yeah, not my idea of fun. So I looked for the manual for the mechanical ones and I found many, but they're very, very expensive. Um, there is actually a modern one being made today, which claims to be safer than the other ones, but it's well over a hundred dollars. No, definitely not within my price range. So I went on eBay, as I said, and the ones that I found ranged from about forty something again up into over a hundred. Um, most of them were seventy something or sixty something. The problem there with the lower ended ones is that they said that they were toys or samples. One of them specifically said, for show only. That's fine, but the other ones didn't say that, and I'm not sure whether or not I can actually use it, or if it's just for a child to see how it works, or uh, a customer. So, uh, that is a problem. The other problem is that they're very heavy, and it, some of them specifically say this item is extremely heavy, so I want something that's relatively light and portable, easy to, to stow away and to use. Um, I found a guide to ringers on Dogpile, which is a search engine, it's like Google, and um, it's from Lovell, or Lavelle, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, it's a company that used to manufacture them, and they explain various types of ringers, some of which have boards that go across a double rinse tub, some of which are basically, um, and they're single, they have one called the bicycle ringer, they have, and they explained, um, about how they work and what types of tubs you can use with them. For example, that there are square tubs and round tubs and oval tubs. And I actually found the tubs without a problem. That is my next topic. I went to um, eBay and they had some, but it wasn't. I wasn't sure what kind to choose. Um, and then I, I saw several at Layman's, which is a wonderful. Uh, company. They have a lot of old-fashioned items, but their prices were just way too expensive. Over a hundred, well over a hundred dollars in some cases. Then I found another site, and please forgive me, I don't remember the name of the site off the top of my head, uh, but they sell buckets and pails and tubs of all kinds. It's an outlet. Um, and Basically, they have wash tubs starting at the smallest is about one quart, and the largest is 16 gallon. Now, if I were to get the breathing washer, which is the one that I'm considering, they say that it works with a five gallon bucket. So I might go with that. The trouble is, um, I also want to be able to use this tub for my crafts, for my job, um, because basketry, chair caning, and broom making all require the materials being used to be kept wet and uh, it really would be ideal to have a tub to do that with so I need to decide whether I want to whether a five gallon will be enough for that if I want to buy maybe a, ten, a seven gallon or something um, and also what shape and size should I get it depends on the ringer that I use now on to the last uh, subject which is dryers I need to find a dryer because the town in which I live just actually does not allow clothes drying online. It's one of the disgusting places where that is illegal. But right now it's the winter anyway, and it's actually turning to spring, but it's still pretty chilly, and I don't, I don't want to put my clothing out to dry in this weather in any case. So I did find an eight-arm clothes dryer at Layman's, but it's basically... Um, it mounts on the wall and I don't want to do that. So I'd like to find one of the drying racks, preferably something that's safe to disassemble and reassemble because mom actually had one that was metal and just the way that it was I actually got my fingers caught in it and that hurt. So I want, you know, obviously I need to be careful, but I would like something that um, I can trust to at least be somewhat safe and sturdy that it won't fall apart. If I choose the hanging method, I also know some people hang their, their clothing on hangers uh, in the bathtub but some things are not meant to be hung that way. The other option that I have is a, uh, a spin dryer, which basically I hear that it doesn't work like a regular dryer because it doesn't use heat. It uses um, just air and it just sort of spins the, 
some clothing. But I found a countertop one uh, that seemed interesting, but it's way too expensive. Again, it's over $60 plus, dollars, which normally I wouldn't care about. It really wouldn't be a problem. But they say that it holds less than the Wonder Wash. That was the manual washer uh, that holds five pounds of laundry. So you're talking an, extre <clears throat> an extremely low amount of uh, clothing that you could put in, small amount rather. And you have to, it takes a few minutes to dry each load. So if I have a large load, I would have to keep, you know, turning it on and turning it off and turning it on. Turn, that's a lot of electricity. And at that price, it really doesn't sound like something that I would like. Also, the other disadvantage to that dryer is that the, uh, the wet, the water from the clothing comes out from the bottom. So I would need to put it on top of either on top of the wash tub or on top of the sink or something to make sure that the water doesn't get all over the floor. So. That is pretty much where I'm at. I need to find a good washer, a good dryer, a wringer, and a wash tub. Um, even if I don't need the wash tub due to the washer that I choose, I still want to get one for my crafts. So that, and I, and if it, if it is one for washing, I don't know if I should get a double rinse or not. Keep in mind that I'm only washing clothing for myself. I'm one person, so you know it's not like I have a whole family to take care of. I just need this for me. Thanks so, so much for watching, and I'm sorry this has been so long. Hopefully, I'll get some answers.